Hey everybody, Morley Scott along with Eskimo running back Kelvin McCarty as we continue our analysis of the NFL playoffs. It is Super Bowl week. That means the big game goes on Sunday. Kelvin and I will have our predictions coming up in a moment. But first, let's talk about the playoffs as a whole. They've been controversial, they've been entertaining, they've been a lot of fun to watch. I'm here so I won't get fined. Okay, what about the quarterbacks? I mean, we got uh, Tom Brady, who's been to the Super Bowl six times. He's won three of them. Russell Wilson, up-and-comer. He's already got a Super Bowl under his belt. This is a pretty good quarterback matchup. I'm here, so I won't get fined. <sighs> okay, how about the running backs? It's a pretty good matchup at running back as well. Two guys who like to control the game. You know why I'm here. Well... Seattle won it last year, they're defending champions. How tough is it to repeat as champions? You know why I'm here. What about you? You ready to go for Super Bowl Sunday? I'm just here so I won't get fined, boss. Well, I don't know how this is going to go, but it's time for predictions for Super Bowl Sunday. It's the 49th Super Bowl, the Seattle Seahawks, the defending champions against the New England Patriots. Prediction time. You know why I'm here. All right, there you have it. There's our predictions. Kelvin, that was awesome, man. That was outstanding. Kelvin McCarty is Kelvin McCarty once again. You picked the New England Patriots. Why? I just feel like you give Bill Belichick two weeks to prepare for anybody. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be tough, and I feel like it's – it's their time. They were at the crest last year, and they, sh they could have had a shot, shot at the Super Bowl, but came up short, and I just feel like their defense isn't getting much respect at the same time, and all the pressure seems to be on the, the team that's, that's coming to repeat. That is true about the defense. Everybody's talking about Seattle's defense. Uh, are they good enough to shut down Tom Brady? I'm not going to say by himself. He's definitely going to need some help, but uh, if, if Brady's out there throwing it, 40, 35, 40 times, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a long day for the Pats. So hopefully Brady can keep his throws under 25 and uh, they can hand it off to that beast behind them that's 250 pounds plus, give him about 20 plus carries, and I think that's no turnovers, they can win the game. How important is the run game going to be? Huge, huge. I mean, it's the run game combined with, as you saw two weeks ago against the Packers, red zone efficiency. So... No field goals. Those guys need to get in the end zone, and they have an end zone, a guy, red zone killer named uh, Gronkowski, I think. So. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's probably going to be one of the key guys offensively for the Patriots, as is, is Tom Brady, of course. Compare Tom Brady and Russell Wilson and how they play and, and how they can impact the game. I say they're, they're pretty, it, it's, it's tough to say. They're opposite, but they're similar. Like, they both have great leadership qualities, and they both were – you know, late to mid-round draft picks. Weren't really expected to be in this position, especially getting to a Super Bowl, was it six times now? Yep. And Wilson in his third year going to two. I mean, they're different paths, but they're, they're pretty similar. And the big difference is Wilson in his legs, man. So yeah. if it's close and everything is tight, I think that could be a difference maker for Seattle. Well, one thing we know about both of them, they both like jewelry. Uh, Brady's already collecting rings, and Russell Wilson's got one and, and looking for more. It uh, should be a good football game. I'm looking forward to it. Kelvin, thanks very much. You've been coming in uh, once a week during the playoffs to talk with us and give us your predictions. I don't think the prediction part worked out very well for you. No, It worked I'll... out pretty well for me, <laughs> but it didn't work out very well for you. So uh, thanks for doing this. Appreciate your time. Uh, best of luck the rest of the way in the offseason, and uh, we'll see you in June. No problem. Thanks for having me.